Hi all, I am Gaurav. Welcome to Introduction to Scala. I am starting this series with an intent of sharing my Scala knowledge. Hi and welcome to this discussion on Scala options. If you have worked in Java, it is very likely that you may have encountered null pointer exception. Scala tries to solve the problem of null pointer exceptions using options. Let us understand basics of Scala options. Options are Scala containers that can be used to test for the presence and absence of a value. They offer a type safe alternative to specify the null value in Java. Consider this login form from Yahoo. Pay a particular attention on gender field which is optional. It is upon the user to fill this information. If a user answers the field, the gender is going to have some value. Else, it will have no value or we call it none in Scala. This is how Scala option works. You can apply pattern match and other higher order functions on options to fetch the value inside this option container. Let us see Scala options in action now. Again, I am going to use Scala Ripple to demo Scala options. Let's start by defining a method called fraction. This method takes in two input parameters of type double, a numerator and a denominator, and its return type is an option with a double. In this method, we will test if denominator is equal to zero. If yes, then we will return none. If not, then we will perform division and return some value. Notice how the return type option takes the type parameter double. This is how option objects provide type safety and error handling at the same time. The key here is to observe the use of none, which is returned when the denominator is equal to zero. This serves as a type safe way of this function to signal that something has gone wrong with the division. Let's invoke this method with two valid numbers, 22 and 7. The return value is sum which means the function was successful in getting a value. The sum object contains value 3.14, followed by a number of decimal points. This is successful invocation of function fraction. Now, let's go ahead and try the same function. Let's invoke it now with the denominator set to 0. And as you can see that the return value is none, because we have guarded against zero denominator in our method. This invocation of our function was unsuccessful. If we want to fetch the value out of out from our option container, we can use dot get method. Here we try to fetch the result of our fraction which is 3.14. But if there is no result, that means if the value is none and we try to fetch out the result, we get no such element exception. Now the next question is what to do if you get none. There are many ways to handle such situation. Scala option has two helper methods, is defined and is empty. You can use either of them to guide about the value of options. Let us declare the let us declare an option test me string. If test me has some value, then is defined will return you true and is empty will return you false. On other hand, if, we, if the test me is none, then in is defined will return you false and is empty will return you true. Keeping that in mind, let us call our fraction method again with these two guards. I am going to use is defined method here. You can practice is empty on your own. Let us call fraction with 22 and 7 first and the result was 3.14. Now let us try with denominator as 0 and we can see the output as denominator cannot be 0. The use of if block doesn't look very elegant. Let us try something else. Scala option also have a method get or else. Get or else is really useful and powerful utility. Get or else method will return the value from expression if it has some value, but if the expression return none, then control goes to else part. 
let us call our fraction method and see get or else in action as we have called fraction method with 22 and 7 after this invocation the result was successful and the value was 3.14 but if we try again this time specify the by specifying the denominator to be 0 none, none will be returned by our fraction method and in this instance the get or else method call comes into play our return value now is the string denominator cannot be 0 there is another way to handle such scenario we can pattern match the options the value can be matched against sum or none let's first call our fraction method with 22 and 7 and then match the results of the using pattern match in this case because the function invocation went fine it is some clause which will be triggered we have a value binding and we can store the result return from an option let us now go ahead and repeat the experiment but this time change the denominator to zero if we now perform the same pattern match its second clause which will be matched this is the case none and the return value here is the string denominator cannot be zero and that is what gets returned from the expression as a whole hope the video has given you a good understanding of scala options see you next time thanks for watching please post your comments and suggestions